everybody welcome back to my channel the famous clap always happens I don't know why but I always clap when I do that I have no idea however today I gave Sophia the day off and my beautiful significant other my everything is my cameraman say hi Ryan hi guys I got a new job I just hired him officially full-time as my cameraman and I fired Sophia just kidding Sophia I love you anyways guys today I will be doing a 10 minute it takes 5 to 10 minutes to do guacamole however if you know how to chop it'll take like literally five minutes this is my if anybody knows me they know me for my guacamole anywhere I go they'll oh, bring a batch of guacamole I start charging for it I'm gonna start selling it it's gonna be about 10.99 per pound because it's one of the most authentic most best guacamoles you'll ever taste right babe that's right <laughs> What you're gonna need here to impress, if you're gonna go to a family party, if you're trying to impress your suegra, or you're trying to impress your mother-in-law, this is what you're gonna need to do that. Even if you don't know how to cook, it is the easiest thing to do. We're gonna need some white onion. Chop it very, very finely because what you want to make sure is that the onion is chopped super finely so when you actually put it in the guacamole or with the avocado, you're tasting the onion, you're tasting the tomato. You're wait, what, well, say it again, you're, you're tasting, tasting the... <laughs> Here, sorry, my English Ooh. sometimes comes a lot. Uh, 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 uh. I, I love it. <laughs> my English sometimes comes out with a little bit of Mexican accent. So Mexican? Please, Mexican accent. So please just like, hello, we're going to put some tomato and some onion. <laughs> <laughs> just like, bear with me. <laughs> um, so you're going to go ahead and do that. And if, if you like cilantro, that is what makes my uh, guacamole a little bit different from others because I love putting cilantro. But if you don't, don't put it in there because it's a very, um, prutin. Prutin? Is that how you say it? Prutin. Protein. Taste. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> prutin taste. Okay, guys? So I also forgot to tell you guys that we have to use some organic, or if you guys don't have it, just regular garlic salt. I don't like putting real garlic in there, like fresh garlic. Some people do because I don't like to taste the fresh garlic when I'm tasting the onion and everything else. Garlic salt is the best. Some pepper. I stole this from Shakey's, so sorry. That was a joke, You babe. stole that from where? That was a joke. Dun, 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 dun. From Shakey's. Shakey's. So let's get started, guys. These are my ripe avocados here. And I, are, I already cut them. So all I'm going to do is just kind of go like that. In there. In there like swimwear. See that? So we have one, one half avocado. We have two half avocado. And I'm going to use a total of... Um, like about four, three avocados, I'm sorry. Cause right here, there you go. Just to make wow, it nice. Looks delicious, so every time I go to like a family gathering at Ryan's house, I'm like a little Mexican princess with my little avocado, guacamole, and everybody's like, oh my God, that is, what does what your dad da say? Yeah, my dad. Your dad says, that is fire. What is that? That's screaming. Man, it's killer, yeah. You know? So they all know me for my avocado. He's like, let me know, he's like, uh, don't let me see it, man. I'll eat the whole bowl. He does. I literally, every time I don't go to these gatherings with uh, my non-Hispanic people, <laughs> they love the avocado. So, I mean the avocado, the guac guacamole. So, therefore, I have to make two big-ass batches. Okay, guys. So, a little trick that I have is you have to, with the fork, kind of get it whipped. One thing, you have to make sure that your avocado is nice and whipped. A little whipped, forearm exercise there. You know? You know. Because if not then it's just gonna be not the best. You don't wanna taste like, I hate avocado that has like a bunch of chunks in it. I don't like that at all. It's just so disgusting. So you do that for about like, I don't know, 30 seconds or whenever you feel. Cause remember, you're gonna put some more onions in there. You're gonna keep pounding that. Get it? Pound yeah. it. Babe, come on. This is a cooking <laughs> channel. Seriously. And then we're gonna put some, and I, I don't put everything like all the vegetables first because I like to see if I want to add more or less. Like I told you guys in the past, you could always add more or less with cookie. Um, let's put some of this in there. And, all right guys, if you guys start seeing, it's getting a little bit mushy and better, but if you see, you have all the onions and tomatoes in there. You have to put equal parts, so equal part onion, equal part tomatoes. Uh, cilantro is to taste whatever you guys want. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more onion because I love onion. I bet, but you thin dice everything, right? Yeah, everything has to be thin diced because like I said, when you go in there with your chip, you wanna grab an onion, you wanna grab a tomato, and a little bit of cilantro so you can have it all in one big full mouth of avocado. Oh Welcome my on. God. <laughs> all right guys, so this is almost done here. We just need to put some seasoning in here, but if you see, it's all 
Nice. Damn, it was bomb. Thank you. Just like me. Oh, two for the price of one. <laughs> so now we're gonna cut this um, lemon. Is this a lemon or a lime? It's called a limon. A limon. I always forget the difference between the green. I just call it limon. Make sure you take well, out your- Yeah, limes are green and lemons are yellow. Oh, right? Okay, thank you for the um, 101 lesson on English. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna put some limon, yellow limon on here. Just limon like that. Limon amarillo. Make sure you seed it out because um, I had one time, oh no, there goes a seed. You see that? Oh, that's what you don't do. You don't do that. Because one time I did that and some guy, I'm not gonna say any names, almost oh no there goes some more uh almost choked on my guacamole he said it was so good but i almost choked on it so i like doing like half a lemon because i don't want it too lemony because then, then it takes away from the guacamole itself put some garlic salt this is by far my favorite garlic just salt how much garlic do you just put a in bunch there? of salt there <laughs> Pura sal, pura sal para que the next morning, you know, when you guys when you guys eat salt, you get all swollen. swollen. So Ryan calls me, what do you call me when I eat a lot of salt the next day? Boli boli. Carita ronda. Carita ronda. Which means my baby little round face. Baby round face, which is sounds cuter than what it really is, because I really look really big. What beak? happens? You look big. Okay, there we go. Ooh, all right, guys. Yeah. I like to top it off with a little bit of just cilantro, so it looks like you know, like fancy and stuff. And everybody's gonna be like, oh my God, there's a lot. Her guacamole is so good, how does she do it? I said, well, oh my God, I did this guacamole in under 10 minutes, thank you so much, by Carolina. All right guys, so for the final test test, I have my beautiful, the test test, <laughs> my beautiful cameraman, baby daddy, no kids, what else are we? No. And we have dogs. I forgot True. to tell you guys that, um, Get whatever chips you guys want. I usually get the ones from Whole Foods. Oh my God, 365, like my favorite movie. You guys haven't seen oh, 365? Massimo. You guys have to go see 365. Massimo. A shout out to Massimo if you're watching. Please come and rescue me. show sure, you're looking at <laughs> I'll rescue you, baby. Oh, come here, baby. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and do our final taste test. So, how did you make all so, this? So, you have to make sure that when you go in there, you grab a little bit of all the ingredients oh in there. God. How long did it take you, Beth? About the 10 minutes we worked on? Oh. It tastes better every single time oh I make it. I'm not God. trying to, you know, say I'm really good at it, but it's an easy recipe under five minutes. If you're a good chopper, it could be a total of 10 minutes. If um, you're not the greatest chopper, but it's great to take to a family barbecue, it's great to take to a gathering mm -hmm. or a carne asada, whatever you guys want, and they'll be impressed because it's super easy. The thing is that they're gonna think you know how to cook because it's so good. Don't worry about it, follow my videos and I'll show you how. All right, babe, from a one to 10, what are you rating my guacamole this time around? 20. No, it's really amazing, man. Thank Every you. time you make it, it's really good. Every time it's a little bit different because sometimes you put a little bit of more tomato, sometimes you put a little bit more of onion, so it's just kind of, it's a, it's a one hit wonder. It's really, just really like good me. guys. You guys really got to try it, so follow my girlfriend for this recipe on this guacamole. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. Like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>